Okay, so this is my gecko in my laser room. Um, I have fat tail geckos, I have a Central American banded gecko, I have a... I'm so sorry. I have a normal ball python. Um, he's a male, he's about two years old, and he's in a bigger aquarium. And then I have my two geckos over here, and my Central banded geckos down there. Um, so, so, what do I do in the mornings? When I have a cycle, because I don't have a timer, so I have a cycle that goes on around like nine o'clock in the morning. I'll come in, turn on all the lights, which um, one is squatted down underneath here. The other one has like a switch on and then that one you just plug in. They all have heat mats, so that's good. Um, I'll leave it on for about 12 hours, 10 to 12 hours, particularly um, around sunset, so around like six. Um, I'll come in because they have the day and night schedule. I have curtains over here, or sorry, I have windows over here that don't have curtains. So that just lets in the natural light. You just come over here and you'll turn them off. You'll leave the pads on. All you'll do is just, you'll come under the table, you'll just flip them off, and you'll go over here where the switch is. And there's a little switch on this one. You'll just. This one you don't mess with the little piece, remember it's broken. So we just come over here, flip it on and off, right? Um, my ball python does not need a light. He has two hides. He will be okay the entire time. You don't have to mess with him. Only thing you'll have to do is make sure he has water. I change it out pretty daily. Um, I'll spray it down with some water. So you probably won't have to spray it. Just check, make sure he's okay. It looks like he's breathing right. Um, so I've actually already fed my geckos, but these two over here get fed daily, Larry and Spots, they get fed daily. If it's only like two or three, that's fine. It's okay. Um, now, my Central American Banded Gecko, it's my new guy. He is kind of my, currently in rescue, found him on the road. He's really sick, been working with him ever since then. Um, He's taken in five wax worms with calcium, and I also have this. I have flukers reptile stuff. I'll drop it down underneath, and then I also have calcium reptile with D3. D3 is good because I don't have the actual. Well, I have CHE lights, which are good. And it's good. It gives them more of like a natural habitat. That's where all these lights are. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So just try not to leave the lights on too long. If anything, um, they're more they're nocturnal animals, so they'll come out in the evening. So if you forget to turn off the lights, I prefer if you didn't. But um, the main reason that I turn off lights is so they get like a description of like day and night, because night, you know, the temperature drops. So that way, when I turn off the light, the temperature in there will drop. So it'll make it look more like night, and the sunlight that's coming in will be dark. Um, feeding the geckos. Um, they all have a little bit of this reptile calcium in there and little bitty bowls. Um, what I do is sometimes if they're not getting enough calcium or they're getting too much calcium, you can tell, especially in their armpits, they'll get big bubbles that'll come out and it's just overload of calcium. All you do is reduce on calcium and it'll go away. Um, the reptile calcium, I give it to them in their supplements about one to two times a week, sometimes three if they're a little younger and trying to grow. Um, I just dust it in there. I'll just take a little wax worm out, drop it in there, let it roll around, and then we'll put it in their calcium dish. Um, later, he's a little older. Um, I, don't, I wouldn't say that he has bad eyesight necessarily, but he probably isn't the best hunter, so you'll have to watch him and drop it kind of in front of him. He has to see it move. They all eat live. So if it's not moving, they won't eat it. They're a little picky, but that is pretty much it. Um, besides that, I'll make sure we take their water out. I'll check on them most of the time. I won't handle them, but if I see them coming out, like Larry is, because I already turned out most of the light, I will, no, I will make sure that, you know, they don't have any sores or they're actually eating, their tail looks okay, make sure they have no stuck shed. Um, I know Larry already shed, it looks like he's already been shedding. I know she shed about a week ago, um, so my Central American Bandit Gecko, he might be shedding soon. 
all you'll do is just make sure that he has all the shed off. If not, you'll just might have to soak him in a little bit of water, nothing to drown, just enough to cover their toes or wherever it's stuck. And if it's like a body part, like a head or the body, you'll just take a warm Q-tip and just gently rub it. Let him do the work and just let him glide it off. Um, well, besides that, I think that is it. So thanks for watching today. I hope you like it, like, and subscribe. Thank you.